Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a health pot that heals you over time. So here we got our three health pots um, that basically are uh, one actor and you can um, yeah, give them another name and you can make a duration for them, how many seconds they should heal you and how much HP per second. So uh, you can use different values for each. So if we play, we have current HP and max HP, and if we press E, we collect the pot around us, and with H, we can use it. So now this one was 3 seconds and 10 HP per second, and if I get another one and press F, sorry, H, then uh, it increase until uh, max health is reached. And now I can collect this one here, but uh, I can't use it because my HP are full. So yeah, that's it. Let's get started. Next up, uh, open up your Unreal uh, Project Browser. And here I will use the third person template and I just called it HP version 01 and create the project. Now let's start. So go into your content folder here into blueprints and Let's just create a new structure. So this will be all list. So just call it items or list or whatever. And create three variables which go into there. So this one will be the name. Or the next one will be the duration. And we need HP per second. So here's the string. For duration we need integer and HP can be a float so it can also be a 0.5 HP or something like this. So close this and then let's create an actor which will be our HP pot. So open this HP pot up, pull it in here. And let's create the scene component so we can get rid of this uh, white bubble there, like this. And then just add a static mesh. And I will just go with the cube here. You can, of course, make your own HP pot mesh and use it. I will use this one. Next up, get in the collision, sphere collision, and make the radius something like 200 or like you want. Next up, go into your event graph, create a variable, this will be just the data, and make it expose on spawn and editable, and it will get our items list as default value. So open this, and you can leave it as it is here. Because we did it editable, we can pull this now in here, and now we can change it here. So for the name you can just give it a, a default name HP pot 2 or something like this compile and save so now everyone has HP pot 2 as a name so this one will be 5 seconds 1 HP 5 seconds 2 HP and let's get here 3, three seconds 10 HP like in super pot or something like this and let's do the logic from the character. First, of course, we need um, a key which uh, starts the pot. So I will use the H key. And then from the H key, we need a branch to uh, predict spamming. So uh, use pot question mark. But then, because this one is false every time, we want to get the opposite of it. So if this is false, not false, then it's true. So from this one, we want to check uh, check has item. So we're checking if we got some items in the inventory. And for this, we make uh, yeah, an inventory or items or whatever you want to call this. And it will be a list of our items. And it is an array. So get the inventory, then we get the length, 
and if it's equal to zero, then it's uh, empty. And if this is not, again, like before, because we want to uh, yeah flip the the outputs here, because this is not, then we return uh, with an output of has items question mark. And here it's true, and here it's false. That's it for this part, very easy, just pull it in. And then from this one we get another branch. So um, if we have here false, we can just print the string, so we can inform the player with has no items. And if we uh, if we have items, we will make another function which will be check HP full question mark. So we don't uh, can uh, so we can't actually uh, use a pod if we have full HP. So for this, we would need not another function but two variables. It will be float. So just delete this and duplicate this one, it's faster. And this is our current HP and our max HP, like this. So for this you can give it uh, some default values. I will just go with 15 and 100 here. And then just compile and save. And here in the check HP full, we just get current HP and we look if this is equal or greater, greater equal, greater equal than max HP if this is true, then we are, <coughs> uh, yeah, full. So get this if this is true, return a boolean of equals question mark, yes, it equals or is greater, and if it's false, it does not equal or it's greater. So bring in the check here. And next up, again, just make a branch here from this one. And if it's true, we can inform the player that HP is full. Something like this. And if it's false, then we want to set our use pod to true because we used the pod. And then we want to create another function which is use last item. So this is the one that looks into the list and just gets the last uh, item that's added. And here just bring in the inventory, then get the function last index. From this one we want to get or pull in from here to get, we want to get the item at the last index. And then we, then we want to break the structure. We can print here something, so we um, append it. And we can say something like you used double points there. Uh, you used this part. And then we return to the uh, normal function the duration of this part we used and the HP per second. Compile save and then we go into the event graph, pull in this function, and here we need to uh, get another uh, variable. This one will be a counter, so it counts how many times we uh, used the pod or added HP to ourselves. So this counter will um, always be zero and then goes up to how far the duration is. So we compare duration. Um, not greater is less than the count. If this is true, we add uh, in one second the amount of HP. So we do a delay here from the true one second. And from this one we set the current health and we 
get the current HP and we add a float of uh, HP per second. So every second we adding uh, HP per second so many times the duration is. So yeah, hard to explain but I think you get what I mean. So then we get a branch and we check if um, the current HP is less, uh, sorry, greater equal the max HP and if this is true then we just want to set the current HP to the max HP so we can't get over the max HP. So this is just a uh, yeah, basic uh, yeah, protection. So and to show the HP actually we want to add a text here to our component and just pull it a bit up here and then just make the horizontal alignment to center, compile and save. And you can also rotate this into the camera direction like this. So then we grab here our text render here under components and we set the text render. Not this, sorry. Set text. This one here. And the value will be a format. And we're formatting like um, you need those curvy uh, brackets. This one here. Two times. And in the middle of this we make a slash, a backslash. And here is current, and here is max. Press enter, and they come there. These two um, inputs. Then bring in your current and max HP, and just connect them together. And here we set this one, and on false we just go this way. And uh, if we did this, so we added uh, one HP in one second, then we want to increment our uh, counter. So just pull from it the increment int, this will automatically add one to the count. So yeah. And then uh, after we did this, we want to go back into the branch and check again if the count is um, less than the duration. Then we do this again. So and from the faults, so if uh, we reached our time limit there, we want to set the count to zero again, so next time it will work again. And then we create another function, delete last items, so this is very basic and we will just work with the last items every time. So here we get in the inventory, get the last index, and then we get the inventory, inventory once more and we remove the index and just pull it in here and it will be removed. So then we delete the last item here and then we can set the used HP pod to false again. So we can also click uh, or press H again. So yeah that's all for this small part here. Next up we need um, a begin play so we can initialize the text render so just go here to your text render and copy this all over here. Whoops, sorry, my fault. Just copy it over, not cut it. So like this. And here, paste it here. Connect them. Uh, we can bring this up here a bit. So now it's initialized correctly. Like you can see here. And the next thing is the uh, line trace, so we can actually add items. So I will as basically always use the E key. So um, like this. And this time I want to do a sphere trace uh, for objects. And the start point is the mesh itself. So just bring it in here, get the wall location. Pull it in in the start, or just get a vector before. So I want to add a vector to this, 
because I want to have the start point above me. So I will do here 2000, oh, the radius can be 15. And I copy the uh, vector over here, paste it, and the endpoint is my, connect, uh, my position with minus 2000, like this. Or you can do minus 2100. And um, the object types will be make an array here. And we will use the world dynamic because uh, our HP pod here is dynamic, like you can see here. So go back to your third person character. And here from the branch, make an if. And from the outhead, we want to break the head, of course. And from the head actor, we check if we can cast to the HP pod. If this is true, then we want to get the data and we want to add to inventory. So just connect those together like this. And then uh, if we did this here, want to destroy the actor. Like this, and yeah, that's all basically. So here we go. Um, here is our item. Uh, press E, it selects this one. Press E, it selects this one, and this one. So now we will use the last part. And of course, there's something that didn't work out here. So let's check. Um, Okay, the HP is not showing correctly here. So let's check this out. Somewhere here is a mistake. And I think I see here the problem. Uh, we need to check if the count is uh, less than the duration. And now we can check this here. And press H. And now it works. So yeah, this one lost uh, five seconds, I guess. Yep. This one should be one second or something. Uh, no, five seconds, but added one. And this one is the super pod. Yeah, which adds 10 to us. Nice. Okay, yeah, that's all here. Um, yeah, this is my first version. So if you have more uh, tips for me, what I can add here to this system, just add it into the comments and I will work on this and release it later. So thanks for watching and yeah, have a nice day. Bye.